Fenty Hair is officially here and I went to the pop-up to see what all the buzz was about and I even got some samples. So you know what that means? It's time for us to try it out. But before we do, let's get into Fenty Hair, our favorite bad girl's newest installment in her Fenty empire. And while she initially launched with nine product pieces for all hair types, with a price point for under $50 for each product, we are going to try out the maintenance crew which includes a moisture repair shampoo, moisture repair deep conditioner, damage repair treatment, and a five-in-one heat protectant styler. And now that we are well acquainted with the product line, it's time for me to take out my hair. And yes, it is very dry, but also has a lot of heat damage, especially where my leave out tends to be. And in full transparency, I have been on somewhat of a hair journey ever since having my daughter. I've been learning how to restore my natural hair pattern as well as maintaining the moisture in my hair. And that's one of the reasons why we're starting off with the rich one, which is a moisture rich shampoo that includes ingredients such as Repenicore 5. And I absolutely love the scent of this shampoo. It smells tropical yet warm and feels silky when applying to the hair. I will say right off the bat, it's not really giving me the lather that I was hoping for. I know it's supposed to offer a gentle cleanse, but I really wasn't getting that. So I added a little bit more water in hopes that it would give me that rich lather that I'm used to when it comes to my other cleansers. But this was just you know, it wasn't really giving. But nonetheless, I used my silicone scalp massager to get rid of any buildup and just, you know, kept it pushing. Again, the fragrance for this product, the shampoo is incroyable. It smells amazing. Um, it just, you know, it wasn't giving me that lather I was looking for. So I rinsed it out and it did leave my hair feeling really soft. It also left my hair feeling as though it was not stripped of its nutrients, which can be the case for some of the other cleansers that I've used, but it left the hair prepped and ready for the richer one, which is a moisture repair deep conditioner. And right off the bat, this was a texture that I was a little bit more familiar with. And yes, it smells so good. It felt like a hair mask, but not as thick. And I allowed it to really saturate all my hair. And it does have a creamier consistency, which my curls were really liking. And also includes ingredients that help strengthen, nourish, and hydrate the hair. In terms of the conditioner's ability to detangle my hair, I do wish that it was a little bit more richer and thicker because then my curls would have felt a little bit more TLC, but it did a really good job of just keeping the hair hydrated enough for it to be detangled. And once again, it left my hair feeling soft after it was washed out. So now that my hair has been moisture washed and deep conditioned, my hair doesn't necessarily feel squeaky clean, nor does it feel as moisturized as it would if I used other products. But what I'm gonna do is have some leave out for this hairstyle and go in with the comeback kit, which is an instant damage repair treatment. And I will say that I was pleasantly surprised by this particular product, mainly because my curls absolutely loved it. It seemed as though it definitely quenched the thirst that my hair has and it left it feeling moisturized. I know that with this particular formula, you can use it as a leave-in if you have curlier hair, or you can wash it out if you have straighter hair, but this was one of those products that reminded me of the leave-ins that I tend to use, and I just wish that it had a little bit more oils to it. That way, my hair can fully feel moisturized, but so far, so good. I mean, look at that bounce. The curls are bouncing. Look at that. Yes. So I use the comeback kit to flat twist the rest of my hair just so that I can prep it for the style that I plan to wear it in. And one thing that I will say is that for this particular product, I would include some more oils just to give it a little bit 
more of that moisture that I need and more of that zhuzh that it needs. But I think that for a 4C hair, you do need a little bit more. <laughs> you do need a little bit more TLC, but this is a great starting point. The Comeback Kid is a definite yes, 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 because the curls were bouncing and this is how it looked once I twisted my hair down. Yes, I know it's not perfect, but you know what? This is the best I can do right now. And I just want to show you how it looked once I untwisted my hair because the definition was definitely there. The curls were curling and I felt as though it was really lightweight. It wasn't weighing the hair down. Again, I would include a lot more oils just to give it that moisture that it needs. But look at that definition. The definition was giving. And now it's time to address the elephant in the room, which is my leave out, which has a lot of heat damage, mainly because I didn't use heat protectants. That's why I'm excited to try this five in one heat protectant styler, which smells again, really, really good. But I worked it into my damp hair strands and really allowed my hair to absorb it before bringing out my blow dryer to start the styling process. And this heat protecting cream really does hydrate, smooth, and defrizzes my hair, as you can see here. It also includes Replanicor 5, which repairs all my sweat ends and reduces breakage. I am using a very cool blow drying setting. I am not using any heat to it, and so far this is how it looks. And so now I have parted my hair the way that I would like for it to be styled and I am going in with my straightener and before you guys come for me I am going in with one pass I am only doing the most minimal amount of heat as possible and this is how it's looking so far but this protectant provides protection up to 450 degrees fahrenheit and because this is the only product that i am using on my hair for this review i wanted to give you my honest opinions on how everything is working so far and you know the hair is lightweight it isn't as straight as it can be and that's because again i'm going in with one pass but look at this look at this yeah it's giving it's giving and so this is how the hair is looking you guys this is how it looks and so this is my final look and i absolutely love how my hair turned out my hair feels so soft and one thing i will say about this fenty hair collection is while i absolutely love the fragrance it smells so so good I don't necessarily think that I will be going out and purchasing the full size products. If I was to purchase a full size product, I believe it will be the Comeback Kid, which was this goodie right here. Um, it's that instant damage repair treatment. I absolutely loved how soft my hair felt after I applied it. It felt really good and I think that I got some definition with the curls. I wish it was a little bit thicker, but ultimately that was the product that impressed me the most. I also like the heat protectant styler for my leave out because again, I have a lot of heat damage and for the one pass that I used, it was perfect. Again, I feel like I would prefer products that had a lot more oils in them, that were a lot more, you know, it just, it gave my hair, my very dry hair, a little bit more something something. But other than that, kudos to Rihanna for releasing another portion of her Fenty empire. There's a lot of potential with this. I think if they really harnessed more cream oils for us 4C having girlies, that would be really, really cool. But other than that, I hope you liked my hair review. Let me know your thoughts below. Let me know if you're going to be trying these products out. If so, please let me know which ones you absolutely love in the comments. And as always, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, that way you're well informed for the next time that I upload. And until next time, bye!